U.S. President George W. Bush signed an unprecedented business reform bill Tuesday, the most comprehensive since the Great Depression, which he hopes will increase investor confidence. At a White House signing ceremony, President Bush said his administration will act against the business criminals who have shaken investors' confidence over the past several weeks. He warned the new bill will expose corruption, punish offenders, and defend the rights of American workers and investors. This law says to every dishonest corporate leader, you will be exposed and punished. The era of low standards and false profits is over. No boardroom in America is above or beyond the law. President Bush and congressional leaders drafted the bill in response to a series of company scandals in which corporate officials deceptively inflated their earnings through questionable accounting practices. The cases of Enron and WorldCom have appeared on the front pages of newspapers all over the world. The result was weeks of market losses in the U.S. and overseas. However, Mr. Bush wants to assure everyone the U.S. economy is strong and called on Congress to promote growth and create jobs for Americans. Fundamentals of our economy are sound. After all sales of automobiles and new houses are on the rise, new unemployment claims have been falling since April, inflation is low, productivity is increasing, and growth continues. He also thanked the bill's sponsors, Senator Paul Sarbanes and Congressman Mike Oxley, whom he called true advocates of corporate integrity. White House spokesman Ari Fleischer told reporters the measure will provide more oversight of accounting practices. This has been a crisis in which the American people did not know that they could read a financial statement and believe that it was honest and accurate. And as a result of this legislation, I think the American people are going to see they can have more faith, more accuracy, and more reliability in the records of America's corporations. The legislation calls for maximum prison terms of up to 20 years for executives who commit mail or wire fraud. It also increases funding for the Securities and Exchange Commission, the government agency that oversees corporations.